Live look at the uh, convention floor there. It is 7.38 on this Monday morning where the Republican National Convention begins later today in Milwaukee. But after Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Trump certainly casts this event in a much different light. So joining us is, uh, with a preview is SMU political science professor Matthew Wilson. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. All right. So we, we booked you for this segment long ago before any of this yeah. happened. But certainly uh, this, you know, a lot has changed since Saturday's event. So how does the assassination attempt change the convention it's definitely going to change the tone and tenor of the convention uh, former president trump has said as much he said he's going to deliver a different speech than what he would have done uh, had this not happened i think it will signal a more conciliatory tone more of a call for unity maybe less frequent and less sharp attacks on president biden and the biden administration there'll still be some of that that's what a political convention is you've right. got to make your point against your opponents but i think trump in particular in his own remarks will really want to strike a pitch of calling for unity and trying to be a uniting figure one of the interesting developments in this, uh, Nikki Haley is invited to speak. Now, she ran as an anti-Trump candidate in the primaries, uh, right. wasn't even invited to this, but here she is. How will this impact things? Well, I think this makes sense. She should have been invited from the get-go. Right. It's a good thing that she is now because she's got an important constituency within the Republican Party. The people that supported her are Republicans, for the most part, who have reservations about Trump. If Trump can bring at least some of those people back on board, that's a a huge electoral asset to him and showing that Haley herself is on board is a real uh, step in that direction. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, so we're, we're weeks away from the Democratic convention and the headlines now are all about this assassination attempt and not so much about the uh, Biden's bad debate and and his political future. That's right. I mean, his struggles have really been put on hold and may have been put to bed by this because right now nobody in the Democratic Party wants to be seen doing these strategic machinations to try to get rid of the current president and uh, moreover he gave a speech from the Oval Office last night trying to project calm unity etc these are the kind of moments where people tend to rally around leaders not try to depose them so in that sense I mean it's it's a political boon to Biden in the short term yeah, so, so talk about the assassination attempt in light of, or maybe even kind of as you look toward uh, the election. Do we, will this still be an element that will have an impact even closer to November? I think there will be some residual effect in the public mind. I mean, obviously, everything decays over time yeah. in, in terms of how much people think about it. But that indelible image of Donald Trump blood streaming down his face with his fist in the air, that is an iconic image that money can't buy. No amount of advertising could give Trump something as valuable as that when his whole campaign theme is, I am strong, I am decisive, and my opponent is not that that's gold for trump yeah uh and, and real quickly before before we end here i mean the political temperature of this in this country i mean a lot of people on mm -hmm. social media pointing to biden's bullseye comment last week right. and then of course you have trump's rhetoric uh heated rhetoric right. all throughout the campaign both sides raising the temperature here you study politics what how do you, you how do you hash this out and is there a, a better future here that we have well i think a lot of americans would like to see a less yeah. combative less confrontational politics and, and maybe we could at least see a dialing down of the rhetoric that says our opponent is apocalyptically bad right. i mean clearly people have differences people have different visions for america different positions on the issues that's what politics is about yeah. but if you send the image that my opponent would spell the end of american democracy that can inspire some crazy fringy people to do fringy things and so the hope would be at least that that kind of rhetoric that kind of temperature would get dialed down somewhat. a lot of people hoping things change yeah, yeah. i think and, that's right in that respect all right matthew wilson thank you so much for your time no this problem thanks for having me we appreciate it